the hiccups, so I hope it doesn't come through in this video. <laughs> But today we are going to be doing a shopper draft where I go over all of the new makeup items that I see on Trend Mood's Instagram. That they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. That I want to talk about, and I will tell you whether or not I will be shopping for it or <gasps> dropping it from my shopping list in about 10 minutes, cause I need this to go bye bye. I think we're good, let's get into it. Now I'm getting all of these photos from Trend Mood 1's Instagram page, so yeah, they are not mine, I do not own them. So starting off, we're starting off strong, this is one that I was really excited to talk about. So these are now available, L'Oreal launched these infallible fresh wear blushes. I have the bronzer version of these, I think they are wonderful, so I will be shopping these. I actually, you know, these launched a bit ago, a couple weeks ago, I think last week, but anyways. They launched while I was on vacation, so I've kind of like didn't pick them up at first, but I am planning on doing a Sephora, no, not Sephora, an Ulta order pretty soon, and I definitely plan on purchasing these if they are available, or if I see them in Target. I'm really interested. I think that L'Oreal is gonna do a good job with these. The colors look absolutely stunning. Fearless Coral, look at that. Daring Rosewood is right up my alley. Confident Pink, this is that trendy pink color that's really popular. I'm excited about this launch. I think it's a really, really good launch, and it's a basic launch, but it's from a popular line, and I'm excited because I am very familiar with the Freshwear line. So this one, shop. Next up, also from L'Oreal, which seems to be putting out a lot of products, we have these infallible lay matte resistance liquid lipsticks. Honestly, I am on L'Oreal's PR list, so I do think that these will come to me in the mail eventually, but I'm dropping them because I'm not going to go out of my way to pick them up. I'm excited if I were to get them in PR to try them out, but I'm not as into liquid lipsticks, so these are a powdery matte liquid lipstick. I don't know what that means, if it's... Hmm. I don't think it's gonna have a really harsh dry down because they're describing it as a powdery matte because nowadays liquid lipsticks are kind of shifting to more K-beauty which is much more comfortable on the lips but not in my opinion as long wearing, not as intense on the lips. You know it's not a product that I'm excited about if I'm being honest but I think if it ends up being a good formula it's gonna be a good option at the drugstore so we're gonna say drop for now. Tom Ford has revealed a rose lip oil tint. This is not available now. I'm very attracted to the way that it looks. I love a good lip oil, but this is going to be a drop for me because something tells me this is going to be like $60 when I am very happy with my clearance lip oil, House Labs, Dior. I don't necessarily think I need a Tom Ford lip oil, though a lot of you guys seem to have been really loving what Tom Ford has been putting out recently. I'm actually, I have slowed down on purchasing luxury makeup because I just feel like there's they've been a lot less worth it to me lately. I am planning on picking up some things from some of my old favorite luxury brands So I'm definitely gonna have to take a gander over to the Tom Ford counter I don't know if this would be, end up being something that I purchased because it's a clear lip oil So I'm gonna say drop but I'm like kind of like side-eyeing it and like a, I kind of want it kind of way But <laughs> I don't need it. I do not need a lip oil, but I bet you it's gonna feel so luxe on the lips the rose is gonna feel very luxurious, gonna smell delightful. I gotta see it in person, but it's, it's a drop. I do not need this, and it's gonna be over $60, I bet ya. Okay, this one, again, is what kind of propelled me to wanting to pick up some of the newer luxury makeup. So this is from Armani Beauty. This is the Silk Liquid Glow Bronzer Drops. For the summer, this sounds stunning. I was not going to pick this up at first. When I first saw it, my eyes just kind of glazed over it. But now that I'm like trying to look again more into some luxury brands that I love, I will be shopping this. I am interested in trying this. I've been loving Armani Beauty products lately, just the ones that I do have. I recently got back into Luminous Silk once again, the foundation, and now we have this Luminous Silk Glow liquid bronzer. I wonder if you can mix this with other products potentially. The shade range though, it's not many options are there. Huh, like what is that? This is literally lighter. It looks pretty and golden, but okay. I mean, I do have interest in the product itself. It looks like something that I would like to use. I think it might be beautifully paired with the Luminous Silk Foundation. We'll see. 
I'm curious, my interest is peaked, it's gonna be $48. I think I'm gonna shop this. I'm, I'm planning on making some orders very, very soon. Fenty Beauty has come out or revealed these limited edition summer products. So we have a match sticks and lip in strawberry pop, which honestly the color looks very, very pretty. And then also we have this Poutsicle Hydrating Lip Stain and Gem. I find that the limited edition Fenty products never sell well and always go on 50% off. And if I'm being quite honest, aren't very interesting. This is an underwhelming collection, if you ask me. And though Fenty is such a popular brand and everything new that they come out with, people gotta talk about, you know? It, it's a trendy, trendy brand. When they come out with super limited edition kind of products like this, for some reason, they are not as exciting. And this is a really limited launch in terms of the amount of products in it. It's just not interesting to me. The packaging is cute, but I kind of like the clean lines of the Fenty neutral colors of their line. So this is a drop for me. I'm not interested in it. And I wasn't even going to mention this in this video, but it just seems like to me, when I see Fenty launch a collection like this, which they do, they do a lot over the holidays and like random times of the year, they just don't do well. They go on 50% off, so maybe give this some time because I think you might be able to get this on a discount. Lip balms. Lip balms are so popular. I'm not into lip balms. I'll buy lip balms because they are a necessity of life. Gotta keep our lips nice and soft, but when a brand comes out with a lip balm most of the time, I, I do not care, but these are two brands that I do enjoy. So Rose Ink is coming out with this lip treatment hydrating balm with squalane, squalane, <laughs> for $22. Launched on May 12th. And then Refi, this one is a little bit more interesting to me, is launching their instantly plump smooth, no, it's called a lip buff. So basically this is supposed to kind of exfoliate the lips, hydrate them. Both of them are gonna be a drop. I don't need any new lip balms. I gotta get through the ones that I already have. But I am intrigued by the concept of the Refi because my lips can get a little scaly. Like a buff would be nice. But a lip balm is a lip balm is a lip balm to me. I'm not I'm not that interested. You know what lip balm I do want to try? It's from Summer Fridays. I just feel like I've heard so many good things. But nonetheless, I'm not trying these. Not interested. How many lip balms can we have? Are you a lip balm person? Let me know. Here is where things get interesting. So we have a sneak peek from Makeup by Mario and it looks to be as though a potentially like cream blush. Maybe the same formula as a skin enhancer. This is what Treadmode is saying. So we don't know, but I did recently recommend the skin enhancer, which is what I call like a tinted bronzer. It's very, very natural on the skin. It looks really great because you don't need makeup underneath, which it would make sense for him to come out with a blushy version as well, because I call this skin enhancer perfect for when you're not really wearing any makeup. I'll just put it on to add some definition to the skin. So a blush would make sense as well just to put a quick blush on when you're not really wearing any complexion makeup. So in that case, if that does end up coming out, because this is all speculation now, this is the only photo we've seen, it will be a shock because I love the bronze so much. But that being said, I don't know if this would necessarily end up being a formula that I would use a lot. I use the bronzer because that's typically where I want the color. My cheeks, I feel, are a little naturally pink. So if I'm not wearing any coverage on my face, I don't think I need a blush. But I don't know. We don't even know what this is. And I think I will be picking up because I love the bronzer version of it. So it might be a cream blush. It might have a sheer formula. It might not. We don't know. But I'm excited about this. We have a new collection from Lawless. So the collection that I reviewed most recently was their lavender collection. And now we have a watermelon collection. So we have a blush that's watermelon-y. This, I've never tried this formula what is it? Is it like a lip plumping mask? Then we have the forget the filler, which is right here. And then we have the lip. Why can I not talk today? What is this? The tinted lip balm. And honestly, these colors look really pe pretty. I think these could look really nice. I've tried all of them except for the overnight lip mask. Knowing these formulas, this color looks like it will be really nice and bright and fun for summer. Oh, it doesn't look that colored here. So interesting. 
have not tried this formula before, but this one also might be too bright for my preferences, but I really do like this formula. I think it looks really pretty on this skin tone right here. They do have a sheer color to them, but I love putting these on when I'm wearing very natural makeup. And the blush also looks really, really gorgeous. So I don't know that this is my favorite collection from Wallace. I don't know if I'd go out of my way to purchase this. It's like, I am on their PR list, so if they send this to me, I won't be mad, you know what I mean? But in terms of like money coming out of my own pocket, I can't say that I would spend it. So I'm gonna say drop. Because I do have a lot from Lawless. I don't need this color in the formulas that I already have, but I wouldn't knock it if it entered my, my apartment, you know? Okay, I do need to talk about this. This is available now from Dyson. I do have the Dyson Ear Wrap. So this is the Air Straight. And I would be lying to you if I didn't say I weren't intrigued. I don't even wear my hair straight very much, but I love the idea that this can take your hair from wet to straight. It just seems really functional to me because I like, you know, the hairbrush one that blows air, so I feel like I like this one. I've seen it work on people with textured hair. You guys know I have like wavy hair, it's naturally frizzy. I'm almost more curious to see how this would work on me. The thing is, it's a very pricey product. It's $500? I wanna kind of guinea pig it out for you guys to let you know if it's worth it, especially with somebody who has my hair texture. Products like this can go horribly wrong. When I blow dry my hair, it comes out to here. It's so frizzy. So I want this to work because I love the idea of starting with my hair wet and then it drying it out completely straight. I think it might be easier than blowing it out. Maybe using this and then using the curler from the air wrap would give a really nice effect because straightening is so important for somebody with my frizzy hair texture because when I use the air wrap, I have to almost straighten it first before I can do the curls because otherwise my hair becomes really, really frizzy. So I wonder if the air is going to even be enough to straighten my hair. So I'm not gonna say shop or drop because I really am not sure. I'm kind of sitting on it because it's a really, really big purchase. But if I get enough cheers in the comments, that might sway my opinion. But I am super duper, 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 duper curious about this. I kind of want to pick it up. Now we also have some new shades of the Luminous Matte Beauty Blush from Gucci Beauty, which I like, but I don't think are worth the full price point. And I don't think the formula itself is anything to write home about. It's a nice formula and it's nice if you want Gucci. You're definitely going to be purchasing this for the name brand, which there is nothing wrong with that. I do that too. I have these because I wanted the Gucci Beauty blushes. But if you are, you know, saving money, I wouldn't pick these up. But we have some new shades. Very pretty, this like kind of nice raspberry color. They call it Intense Plum. That's not a raspberry, it's an Intense Plum. Then we have like a soft red, which looks orange, a true pink. They have a lot of pinks, I feel like, in this line already. So anyways, in my opinion, worth picking up one or two if you're interested in the Gucci blush while you can get a discount. So maybe now is not the time to pick these up. I can tell you these are a drop because I already own like four or five blushes from this line. I don't need any more. They aren't game changing at all. They are a normal, very nice blush formula with just really pretty packaging and the Gucci name labeled on it, which again, I bought it for that. So I'm not mad at it. I was not disappointed, but not the best in the game. Okay. So Charlotte Tilbury is about to drop a new collection, Summer of Lovegasm, which is not a new collection. Nothing is new. So that's kind of <laughs> what I'm pointing out here, this new Charlotte Tilbury Lovegasm collection. I feel like when this first came out, Charlotte Tilbury wasn't as trendy as she is now. So it's definitely going to appeal to the newer audience. But if you're like me, who has been reviewing and loving Charlotte Tilbury for the last few years, you might already have this because I already have this. Um, that's all we got, that's all we got. <laughs> so I don't know if anything new is going to be in this collection, but I don't think anything is new because I literally have this, have this, have this, have this. I don't know if these are new shades, but I do not think that they are. Repromotions is what this looks like to me. Time will tell, maybe these are new shades, but if they are new shades, they do not look new. <laughs> I think I already have these regardless. This palette was nice right here. Maybe a reformulation, I don't know. These are not new, they aren't, so I, I don't know. 
NARS has this new light reflecting under eye brightener. I'm going to say shop because I will end up with this product because I typically will pick up the new NARS products. Maybe not the first second that they launch, but this is something that I would be interested in. I love a kind of under eye brightener. I feel like lately my under eyes have been darker in this area, so this definitely catches my eye. This one is a shop. I'm not like running out to get it, you know? It's not the most exciting product, but NARS always does a good job. This looks like it will pair beautifully with their already very, very popular concealers. I feel like this is going to be really nice hydrating and also very lightweight on the under eyes knowing what NARS typically launches. I can confirm or deny that once I'm able to get it. So it is a shop, but like not shop until I drop. Like it's just, I'll pick it up when I can. Urban Decay is launching a new liquid blush, the Hydromaniac Dewy Liquid Blushes. I may or may not be kind of liquid blushy blushed out. I picked up four during the Sephora sale, but I mean, it makes sense that Urban Decay would launch their own since they don't have something like this. I'm not particularly interested. They say it's non-comedogenic, won't clog the pores, $22 each. The colors do look nice, but if it's not a new innovative product in the line, I just feel like it's something that Urban Decay just needs to have because it's trendy with the times. I typically don't prefer a blush that squishes out like this. I kind of like it when it has a wand so I don't have to get anything dirty, but it might be nice. I don't know. I like the name Hydromaniac. That kind of hints at the fact that it's going to be hydrating on the cheeks, which is where my cheeks can get dry, which by the way, my cheeks are very dry from being on the West Coast. I'm not that excited about it, but good for them. I hope it's good. I don't know. It's a drop. We're going to say drop. Again, it's kind of like the NARS where the, if I see it in store and I'm purchasing stuff, I might just throw it in my basket to try it because, you know, I like to try and dabble into a little bit of everything from as many brands as I can. So I'd be curious to give my two cents. But if I didn't do this as a job, it would be a drop. Too many blushes. And we are at the very last product that I am excited about. So finally, Dior Backstage is going to be launching four new shades. Dang, these are expensive. $40 for a single blush. And you know I'm gonna be purchasing it. So the new shades are gonna be Berry, Cherry, Rosewood, and Mahogany, which are like the lip glow oil names. And will I be purchasing these? Yes. And I am an OG fan of these blushes. FYI, I, I love these way before they went trending. I loved these when they very launched, like for the first time. So I hate to be that girl, but I'm being that girl. I liked it first before it was popular. <laughs> I jump on the bandwagon all the time, but this time I'm not. I really love these colors. I think they look so pretty. I wish they were a little brighter to expand the range to be more suitable for more skin tones. Like, look at this. I don't know who that's gonna show up on unless you're very very fair which is great if you're very very fair but it looks like these four are the new shades and then these are the two that were pre-existing i'm excited about these absolutely shop love this formula kind of wish they went a different direction with the shades or even added more so that it fit a bigger skin tone range but really nice it says it's going to be available in, on june so i'll keep an eye out make sure you guys are subscribed to me and then turn on your notification bell because i'll let you know when these are launching on my community tab so anyways that's all i have for the new makeup that's launching whether or not i will be shopping or dropping them if there's anything that you want to see me review make sure you comment down below and share your opinions on all these new launches i love to chit chat in the comments so uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video found it helpful entertaining all that and the good stuff and i'll catch you guys in the next one i guess have a good one Thank <laughs> you.